Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about hooks. So these are the points for this video. But before that, I want to tell you that why we are just start uh, making the videos on hooks. There is a reason. In just last video, we completed our uh, life cycle methods with the class component. Now, from the next video, we will uh, start our life cycle methods with the functional component. But we cannot use lifecycle method in a functional component directly. For that, we need hooks. That's why I'm just going to make a video on a hooks so that you uh, just got the idea of what are the hooks, why we can, why we use them, how we can use them, and example and all, right? So now uh, let's see the points of video. We will see what are the hooks, how we can use them, example, and in this video we will. Uh, use a use state for uh, an example and uh, i will provide you the answer of previous video as well as i will ask a new question also and this is my instagram account if you just want to join me all right so the first question is basically what is the hooks or what are the hooks right so in a class component we have a uh, many features like uh, state life cycle methods and pure component but in a functional component we cannot use these features directly right for that we need to use hooks right so let's say you just want to use the state inside a functional component or life cycle methods or uh, ref or pure component then we must have to use hooks for that right and there is a nothing fancy all about that that they are really easy and uh, really interesting also right so now we just uh, uh, get to know that what is the hooks in a theoretical way right and uh, after that how we can use them right so uh, this is a very simple way to use them we just uh, need to import them from the react, react library and we can just simply use right some hooks are uh, like a functions some hooks are like a properties right in the upcoming videos i'm just going to make uh, six to seven videos or maybe more videos on hooks uh, and we will cover all hooks right in a react chairs and uh, now let's see an example uh, with the use state why i'm going to use a use state because use state is a simplest hook right and this is the most important hook also because in every component we need to use a state right and that that time if we have a functional component then we must have to use a use state so let's see how we can do it so let's say this is my functional component as you know i cannot use this dot state dot uh, uh, some like name and all because this is not a functional component right and uh, so that how can i use the state here for that what i'm going to do first of all let's import react from react and let's say I just want to use a use state for state. So this you just need to use here use state. This is basically a hook and you can see that this is a really simple to just import a hook from here. And now how we can use them? Let's take a const destruct it. Destructing means just fetching this uh, property from the use state in a different different uh, const or variable, right? So let's say it have the two properties, one for state and another for the function for update this state let's say set data right and you can just simply use here use state and this is our state now and this is the function for update the state right and this is not mandatory that uh, you just need to put here set data you can just put here like uh, update data or something whatever you want right it's totally up to you and now uh, we can just provide some by default value for this state let's say i'm just going to provide my name like anil right and now i want to just uh, print it or display it on a uh, you can say that uh, on a h1 tag right on a screen so here you can see that we got my name right as a default value so let's say you just want to update it then what you can do you can just make a button here right just write here update state or something and uh, you can just simply use here on click event as we are usually 
using this event and just simply use here set data because this is for update the state and uh, as a function let's put here some new value like peter right and now whenever you will click on it you will find that the value of state is updated this is the way that how we can use a state inside a functional component and with the hooks so for lifecycle method we will use basically use effect uh, that that one right and we will learn about it in the next video so uh, how do you know get to know that this is a hook or uh, this is the normal property because we have some other other properties also like a component so how we can just f uh, distinguish them like this is a normal property or a hook for that if with the property you have a use keyword at the starting right right a use keyword as in prefix that means this is a hook so let me just show you the more example for hook let's say just put here use and you will find that uh, use call use context debug and uh, layout and memo and much more these all are the hooks right and we can make the custom hooks also so i think you just get to know about uh, hooks uh, at least basics of the hooks if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box yep and we must have to again import use state right uh, okay what's wrong with that I must have to use here comma now everything is fine let me just refresh it again oh, oh, sorry this is actually imported by default on a top so just remove it right now this is working fine right all right so let's again let's check out uh, the uh, you can say that the definition of the hooks we have uh, some feature in a class component those feature we cannot use in a functional component directly for that we must have to use the hooks like state lifecycle methods and uh, pure components etc right so now it's time to my previous interview question which i asked in the last video i asked that uh, in a class component uh, component will unmount is uh, called before unmounting a component or just after unmounting component it will be actually called just before to the unmounting right and for this video i have a question that can we use these hooks inside a class component also you can attempt this question in a comment box and if you want then um, uh you can just read about it and you can just uh, try it on your computer and all so god bless you and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video